Can you believe the person that you're looking at right now, the person that's talking to you right now, was a simp? Because I can. <laughs> I grew up and um, I, I did some really cringy things, really cringy things in my life. But this in particular kind of trumps a lot of the cringy things I've ever done. Now, um, let's take it back to, to when I first started having crushes and stuff. It was about first or second grade. Um, I was, you know, I've always been very outspoken, very like high energy and stuff like that. So whenever I had a crush, I would try to get their attention, right? And you know, the the memes and stuff like, you know, when um, your crush uh, tries to see who's faster or something like that. Basically, I tried to get my crush's attention when I was like six by um, trying to be the fastest kid in the class. I would try to like, get in line first. I would try to, um, you know, uh, like be the fastest guy when we were racing and stuff like that. To no avail. Of course, your boy failed. I've never been fast at anything besides failing. So um, that didn't work. Never got my crush's attention. In fact, my crush wound up fi finding new prospects through all of these endeavors I found myself in. So as I got older and I, you know, overcame these L's, um, I entered a new universe of L's. Okay. So I, it all started when I saw one of my friends gift this girl that he liked, you know, some candy. It was like we we're in middle school and stuff like that. It was Valentine's Day. So uh, typically people, you know, they gift the person that they, that they like, you know, um, a card and possibly some candy or whatever. I, I'd never done that before. So, uh, you know, he gifted his girl, like, you know, not his girl, but, you know, the girl he was interested in, some candy. And I saw that and she loved it. She melted. She's like, oh my God, thank you so much. So I'm like, word that's what i gotta do i gotta get my crush candy and so i you know would see like a, a girl that i would like and stuff like that i'm like awesome like let me go ahead and like wait what's your favorite candy da, da, da. And, you know i would you know try to I, I was so nervous though at the time i would actually have one of like her friends give it to her and say it was from me and i would just be eyeing her across the room and be like hey yeah who <laughs> knows for me and she'd be like oh god thank you and then proceed to you know go talk to who whatever her crush was or whoever her crush was so that was where the the simp uh simping started be becoming a thing because i'm like i don't care if she likes me or not you know i want to like eventually win her over with all these gifts because it went from candy to other things man i remember like uh, I guess it was like late middle school, right? Right before high school, I had this little girlfriend or whatever, and it was it got so bad to the point where like she would only talk to me if I bought her stuff. If I bought her stuff, so um, I remember when I and that's actually how I met her too. Like, well, we, I knew of her already, but I'm like, okay, cool. We never we never talked. So what I did was I I, I think I the Twilight was a thing at the time. So I remember um, I bought like this Twilight like uh, book series and stuff like that. And I was too nervous to give it to her. So I had one of my friends give her these books that I bought, right? I, I wrapped them up in like little like, you know, uh, wrapping paper and stuff like that. I gave it to her and she's like, oh my God, who get who did this? Da -da -da. And then saw me across the room in class and stuff like that. I'm like, yeah, that was me. <laughs> so I was awkward, man. I was very awkward. I mean, it's probably obvious. I'm not the most sociable person on the planet. Now, I, I love talking to people now, but at the time I was, I still like talking to people, but I just had a really rough time talking to my crushes. So um, yeah, you know, she walked up to me and stuff like that. We started talking and then eventually one thing led to another and I'm like, can we start dating? And we did. The, the, the caveat was she would only talk to me if I bought her stuff. Cause I remember I was trying to have a conversation with her and she was like in her phone, kind of just looking away, not really paying attention to me and stuff like that. And I'm like, hey, hey, hello, hi. And I, one big thing I noticed is she would catch attitudes with me all the time. Like she would, she would get like really salty for out of nowhere for no reason, just wouldn't say anything. But the second I gave her something, like, and it got to the point where it was money. Like I was pretty much sliding like like five dollar bills in her desk and stuff. And she's like, oh my god, hey, how are you? Da da da. So it was basically buying a girlfriend. Like what? The, <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it didn't make any sense. But it only got worse as I got older because after that era ended. Um, I started doing that with uh, other people that I had an interest in, but with like bigger gifts and stuff. I remember I bought um, my ex-girlfriend the most expensive everything because I, I just, you know, at the time I loved her so much or I thought I loved her so much, I wanted to give her the world. So uh, when your boy joined the military, okay, I thought it would be in my best interest to get her any and everything she wanted. I remember she was eyeing this $1,500 camera and I'm like, 
I got you. I'm big balling now. I'm getting big checks now. So I went to Best Buy. I bought her a, a, a $1,000 camera, pretty much like a $1,500 camera. And, um, you know, I get I, I got that for her for Christmas. And then I bought her an iPad on top of that so we could FaceTime because, of course, we were kind of doing the whole long distance relationship thing. And now people are like, oh, James, like, that's not simping. Like, that's your girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, no, it's simping because while I gifted her all these things, um, yeah, she kind of appreciated it while she was getting her back blown out because uh, th that's the girlfriend that cheated on me four times. Wasn't a pretty look. Also, too, I did realize when I stopped giving her gifts or at least gifts on that scale, uh, she was also very like uh, moody and stuff like that. She didn't want to talk to me. She was very like, Ugh, you know, so I was just like, damn, <laughs> it just it doesn't work. OK, that, that's that's what I'm trying to get at. It does not work. Um, I learned a lot from it, though, because I thought like I, we, we, we sit down and we ask ourselves, why do people simp? People simp so that they can get the person that they're simping for. And like I said, it's to no avail. Um, how do you get the person you want? You be direct. Like you're, you have to be direct. The one big thing about all simps is like simps are indirect. Like, like oh, oh, that girl's pretty. Like, go give her some flowers. You give her flowers and stuff like that. Oh my God, thank you. It's like <laughs> no problem. <laughs> you know, like it's weird. And, and then like you have an, another dude doesn't gift her shit. Just like, hey, I think you're cute. We should go out sometime. Matter of fact, you know, let's. Let's let's go go let's go hit up that park like tomorrow and stuff. Just go walk around and, and get to know each other real quick. She's like, oh my god, no one's ever said that to me before. Let's go. And then you're the one that gifted her the flowers, but now she's walking away with some other dude because the guy was actually upfront with his intentions. Simps are never upfront with their intentions, and I wasn't either. So I was like, dang, you know. Um, and then when you establish a relationship off of giving gifts, yo, then like the person expects that shit. So like when we see that on Twitch, uh, or any platform where like, you know, you have like these really big, you know, streamers and stuff like that. And then like, you have like, um, the tier, they call them the tier three sims or whatever, like, um, always like, you know, uh, like the white knights, like fighting off everybody in the comment section and going crazy. It's, it's funny to see, but I understand that mentality because I used to be there myself. Um, and this is to anybody out there that doesn't know that they're simping, stop simping, bro. Because the, uh, one big thing I did notice on top of all of this is you get used up. They will use you till you dry, right? They're like, oh, this person likes me, so I can just go get a few bucks off of this guy, and then I can buy lunch for all of us. I, I think the most down bad story I have, um, and we'll conclude it after this, is uh, there was a girl I had a crush on, once again, in middle school. I had, a, I had a crush on a bunch of girls, but this one in particular, I remember I wound up buying her... Um, no, I, I didn't buy her anything. I wound up giving her money because I had a little hustle when I was in middle school. My hustle was um, doing people's homework. And that's when I was you know younger and stuff like that. I, I did it throughout high school as well, but I would do people's homework for money. So I wound up like giving her like 40 bucks, right? And I'm like, cool, maybe she'll use that money. And maybe in my, in my illogical head, I mean, maybe she'll buy like, you know, movie tickets so we can go to the movies together because I overheard her talking about not having enough money to go to the movies. So instead of, oh, my God, like, let me go to the movies with the guy that gave me this money. She bought movie tickets for all of her friends and the guy she was interested in, which just for the record, wasn't me. And they all went to the movies and I was sitting there looking goofy. And I'm like, dang, what did I get out of all of that? A thank you. What did I actually want? Her. But was I upfront with my intentions? Hell no, nah, because I was nervous. Okay. Anyways, um, hopefully that was entertaining because, uh, God, it's cringe. It's so cringe. I've done so, so many cringe things in my past. Um, it's insane. I think uh, to kind of add fuel to the fire, one of the girls that I uh, tried to date um you know she was i guess it, she she was she felt so bad for me that she literally like she was she brought herself up to the point to where she wanted to kiss me or like she tried to kiss me i guess but i knew it wasn't genuine so like i ran away it was so lame it was the lamest thing ever so anyways that's pretty much it let me know what you guys think about this cringe fest um i'll talk to you guys later but it's been real i'm gonna see you peace